getting picked off was GC Jarman, so Mitchell Smith will return to the plate and get things started here for UNCG in the seventh. Six, seven, eight hitters for UNCG. Mitchell, Mitchell Smith, Smith, Trey Truitt, and Zachary Walsh prepping against Jimmy Lovelace. Lovelace looks in, tosses a first pitch strike on the inside corner. Lovelace truly picked up where Rose, Rouse left off. Rouse with five innings pitched, giving up just a couple of runs. Lovelace induces the foul ball, but that ball is going to sail well out of the field of play. Lovelace checks his sign. He is ready to go. Here comes Mitchell Smith. Smith takes another cut at it. One and two the count. Working very quickly is Lovelace. The liner to Connor Butler results in a put out. Good bat to ball by Mitchell Smith, seven, but driving it right through. into the glove of Connor Butler. Can't ask for more than that. Only problem is there's a defender right in the way. I'll leave it up to Trey Truitt. Truitt one for two on the day today. He takes it inside from Lovelace. Fielders for Radford at natural depth here with one out and no one on to defend against Truett. They know that small ball and bunting may not be the best recipe when coming back from behind five to two, so they are less anticipatory of the bunt for a hit in this situation from Trey Truett. And outside as Hunter Keen comes in to converse with Jimmy Lovelace. I think part of it is to slow things down a little bit. We will get a consultation at the mound. I think the key point of emphasis here truly is that Lovelace was starting to very much speed up his delivery, maybe a little bit too fast such that he is out of his own particular rhythm. He has pitched a gem in his appearance so far today. A one, two, three, sixth inning coming in in relief of Scott Rouse is Lovelace. Lovelace then got the liner from Mitchell Smith to the second baseman, Connor Butler, for the first out of this inning. This time Lovelace ready to go. Pitching to contact, Trey Truitt fouls it off. That was the message. You can see that Lovelace literally is gripping the ball and slowing things down just a little bit in his rhythm. Slow grounder to Butler. Butler turns to Bell. Easy ground out for the second out of the inning. Now batting for his card, number two, Zach Walsh. Zach Walsh comes to the plate, the center fielder for UNCG. Comes to the plate with no one aboard, takes an outside corner strike. Again, working the outside portion of the plate is Lovelace. That one well wide, one and one. Lovelace comes again and again with that quick delivery Coaching staff along with the infielders and all coming in moments ago, I believe, to try to slow him down just a little bit. Grounder off the glove of Troutman. That's going to go into left field, charging for two. 
is Walsh. Walsh will make it in on the slide. Troutman missed an opportunity to get out of the inning. And instead, Zach Walsh standing on second base. Now batting through Spartans, number 25, Luke Holland. Luke Holland with an opportunity with the runner in scoring position of Zach Walsh. One for two on the day is Holland. A single in the third is his one notch in the scorebook. Taking on the inside corner from Lovelace. Strike one. Holland tries to catch up to that one. No dice. The Radford fans are very much liking this one. The cheers that you hear are that of the Radford fans that have traveled to Greensboro to see Radford up by three here in the seventh. <laughs> One and two with two outs. Lovelace gets a glance at second. Pitches over the head of Luke Holland. Holland ducked, left his bat in the way, nearly got fouled off, but instead gets out of the way from harm. Holland will prep again, this time driving off the glove of Troutman. Sending it over to first. Carson Bell then flicks it over to Troutman over at third to try to get an advancing now, Zach Spartans, Walsh. Number nine, Jeremy Walsh. So now runners at first and third, the tying run at the plate in Jeremy Wolf. It's the double credited to Luke Holland. Jeremy Wolf at the top of the order. Wolf scored a run in the third after he had singled. One for three on the day. Big opportunity for Wolf and UNCG to get on the board here. Stealing and is going to be safe just by a nose. Is Holland over at first base, chasing over to second. time a drive into center field. It's gonna be handled by Austin Stalker. So the threat is thwarted by Radford and Lovelace. Lovelace gets out of jam. We remain with a five to two score. Highlanders on top. 